in this video we will be seeing extract and replicate parameters so what is the extract parameter overview extract file is a parameter file that is created to extract the data from the source database so two questions what is it that you want to extract what data are you trying to extract so what is being captured what are the tables what are the rows and what are the things that you want to capture next where do you want to send the data do you want to send the data to a trial file do you want to send the data to a normal file or do you want to send the data directly to the replicat right do you if you want to send the data to an extract trial file you use the extract parameter in the extract parameter list apart from that you also give the extract name what is the name of your extract right and if you want to send the data to multiple trial files even that you mention or if you want to send the data to the remote system that is to the replicat at the target system directly if you want to send your data to the replicat at the target system even that you can do right so two questions where to where to send the data and what is the data that you are capturing once all these parameters are specified then if you want to do any column mappings if you want to change some column names all that you can do or if you want to do some transformations that is while you are extracting the data if you want to extract the data from specific tables or if you want to extract the data from all the tables in the users or if you want to extract the data based on a condition say where condition for example where country equal to america or like that if you want to extract some specific data that also you can do which is nothing but the data transformations now this is the example for a sample extract file this is the extract group name so extract ods your extract parameter file will start with the name of the extract first so it is extract ods then followed by the golden gate user and the password so you create a user in the database which is nothing but the golden gate user which maintains the information about the golden gate process like the checkpoint table and all are there in that particular user so you are going to give the golden gate user name and password then manager port number what is the manager port number of the source system and if you want to send it to the trial file here you are actually sending the data to the trial file at the remote system and that is at the target system you are sending the data to the remote trial file and this is the remote host what is the server name where you want to send the data to extract is extracting the data and directly sending the data to a trial file at the remote system here and what is the table that it is extracting it is extracting the data from the orders table of the sales schema and it is sending the data to sales schema and inventory table that is at the target site there is a sales schema and it is sending the data to the inventory table now what is a replicate parameters at the target system you have a replicate process which is taking the data from the extract directly or it is taking the data from the trial files that is created by the collector so there is a collector process that collects the data from the extract process creates a trial file at the target system and this replicate process use those trial files and replicate the data to the target database right so as usual your replicate parameter will start with the replicate group name then you can do various source to target relationships you can map your source table to a target table if both are same or if both the tables are of different name for example you are extracting the data from one table and you are replicating the data onto a table name with a different name so you can do that mappings apart from that mapping you can also do various transformations which are optional for example row level selection criteria for example you can use a where clause and you can restrict the amount of data that you want to replicate your extract may capture all the data but while replicating you only want to replicate specific data so all those transformations like row level selection criteria column mapping facilities you can map the columns for example your column name of the source database is different from the column name of the target database you can do that as well you can map the columns optional transformation services there are various other transformations that you can do with the data that you have extracted and to the data that you are going to replicate right apart from that you can do 
various error handling also if there is any error because of unique constraint error or if there are any collisions you can use various error handling parameters like handle collisions etc so let's see an example how a replicate parameter file looks like as i said it starts with the parameter that is replicate and what is the parameter group name so your replicate group name is sales rpt this is the golden gate user and the password that you are using assume target definitions as we discussed it is assuming that your source and target databases are having the same definitions and this is your discard file whatever the transactions that were discarded are going into this particular discard file and then comes the mapping you are mapping your student table of the hr schema to the student table of the hr schema of the target database and you are also giving a condition you are giving a where condition that means all the data is not replicated only those data with student number less than this particular number is replicated not only that you are also mapping codes table of the hr schema to the codes table of the hr schema in the target database right similarly you are also mapping the orders table of the sales schema to the orders table of the sales schema here you are capturing the data from multiple schemas of the source database and replicating it to the multiple schemas of the orders or target database